Hello everybody and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. That roar. That roar means that we are on our way to the sun. Now actually we are making this huge burn out to Maneuver. That should get us into thingy space. So it is estimated burn of four minutes. So we can warp there. face the node. Actually, I'm going to kill the warp. We want to face the node. I don't know why it lost all these settings. I thought I had saved, but maybe it only worked as a quick save. We'll get to the, to the node. We'll face the node. But it should be okay-ish. that so the node is in 26 minutes so now if we let's just walk here which gives us time to adjust if we move off of our our thingy so we are 18 minutes and it's four minute burn so we can move a bit closer in three minutes so we can actually we can start burning now it's probably a bit better okay, yeah we're making come down now 700 onto feet so if we look here we have all five engines yes so at the end of the last episode just after i stopped two of them had actually died so yeah we lost that last bit of the burn somehow i did save it but I guess it doesn't save during a burn or something like that. It's okay. Okay, it's down 680 on that. But when that gets down to zero, we're just going to drop off to it. So it'll slow our, our acceleration. That's why we need to burn a bit earlier. Uh, but we should have the majority of it done by then. Exactly where we were. I 
usually just burn, you get to the moon easy, when you burn, you get to the miss easy, much quicker burn, so, yeah, it does take a lot longer. our acceleration. Like a very, very slow acceleration. We're still, we're still getting through it, so that's okay. Then we're going to need all of this to pretty much get to Juno. We're, we're align ourselves with Juno. So I hope we have enough. We should have enough. It's just, I'm a bit of a novice at this. Now I'm sending two missions at the same time to Juno, which I, I guess I could flip between the two missions backwards and forwards, but uh, I don't want to overshoot anything at this stage. It's quite a menacing looking thing coming like that. Though. It was a big build. use it for future missions, maybe we need to customise it a bit more, tweak it, there's always tweaks and stuff that need to be made, so we have to see, we're getting there, we're getting close to our, to our point, we can probably go from this view now, so as soon as it starts to pop then it will just Do you, matey? All right. Um, so what we want to do now, actually, is we wanted to go out here, and Juno is there. So we are. We're a little bit more. This really needs to be there to be in the exact place you want it to be to make the um, most efficient burn there but yeah I thought I can't hold up the game much and I needed to get to Juna so that's the other one right that's the Juna base so you are probably while we wait for that to come out into intergalactic space we can send our Juna base ready there uh, we can switch to you so we've got Armand. If we're if we're good, we can bring Armand back. But I don't know if we're good enough to do that. So is there any science we can do out here? In intergalactic space. We've got a lot more solar panels on this one. Um, so science. What science did I put? I don't think I put any science on this. Ah, 
that's down the bottom. Crew report. Uh, we already have that then. Okay, so we can recycle that, get rid of that. So, can I EVA you? Don't let go. And can we do an EVA report? Keep experiment and store experiments and board. Okay, that should now let us transmit. We've only got a little bit of fuel in this whole thing, but uh, a little bit of it helps, doesn't it? 121. So we can probably now um, review stored data, yes. So we can transmit that. So we're going to get 16 science back at home, ready for when we um, need to do our next mission. So that's okay. So where is? Where's Juna? Have we reached our orbit yet? I don't think we've quite reached our orbit. This is our orbit? I believe that's our orbit. So we haven't quite reached it either. So we've done all of that and this hasn't reached its new orbit. It is quite interesting. Um, As, did I set? I think I had already set up a manoeuvre for here. That's the manoeuvre, and then that is the encounter. I don't know if we can do one earlier. Um, right, let's do a quick save. So if we need, if we bugger up the manoeuvre too much, we can bring it back. So you are now somewhere here. And do we have any We've got a closest approach, from, uh, but I think it's it's a huge burn. It's seven hundred and forty-two. The closest approach is so. If we were to focus the view where do we fly by I don't think we fly anywhere close do we it's the yellow hours no, I think the yellow is it's thingy no so if we Ten million kilometers. Wish you would keep open. Ten point seven, ten point six. Target position at closest approach. So we are. Are we on the same plane? More or less. And if we were to do any of this, that helps. That helps a lot. So now do we have... Ooh. Now we're in meters. Yeah, 
that's a pretty good burn. It's a big burn. Do we have enough? Maybe we can juice some of that. Closer before 12, but we had a lot more Delta V. Seventy. It's looking much better. I mean, we've got seventeen there. Sixteen, sixty-eight. Uh, bring it. Sixteen fifty-two. I think that's like the best, best possible burn. Sixteen fifty-two. So we can off. We'll face the node. This thing takes forever to... I can't remember how to switch focus view back to the ship, but... Um, to be backspace yeah backspace okay so the burn is in three hours and 51 minutes it's not a problem we'll just sit here and wait for three no we won't sit here and wait for 53 three hours we can speed up some time speed now. It's in two hours. Alright, we'll do another F5. I'll slow down. Can I please face the node? I think it is going. It's moving slowly. Yes, it's going to the node very, very slowly. So how long is the burn? Estimated burn not applicable. Oh, we're gonna lose the engine halfway through. Well, at the start really. So the estimated burn would be a bit inaccurate. So now that we're pretty much on the target, we can speed up again. Go a thousand times. Slow down. Uh, I think we can actually start the burn, so we can... Okay, we can... that means we need to stage... Quite fast actually. So this would be the first of two to reach Juno. So the other one, possibly, because it's going that little bit later, will be more fuel efficient in this stage. We 
with any luck. But definitely um, messing around with the not just the prograde, but messing around with the others really helped. I mean, we could brute force it 2,500, but we've cut off almost a thousand delta V of, of um, fuel or burn, whatever you want to say. It's normal anti-normal, so it's like it's a burning in the direction that you're going, which is prograde. Normal is like away from the planet or to the planet. In this case, I guess it's the sun because we're in orbit of the sun. Don't know the sun's name. Okay, I'm supposed to program. Yeah, we're already at 22 minutes. We'll do this burn. And we'll call that episode. The Kerbal Space Program really just it, it eats away at your time. But um, you can't you can't fast forward when you're doing a burn. That's the problem. But I love the game. I love, I love Kerbal Space Program. It's one of those games as well. I kind of I get the, the I wouldn't say need, but. I get the appetite to start doing a bunch of, of Kerbal Space Program and then it'll drop off after a while because I have to, you know, new games come out, I have to try it. But it's one of those games that always keep coming back to the channel some, in some context. But we can X, X, there we go. So we have our burn, it's done, we're on the way to Juno. So now what we'll do, we'll set up the other one, so we are... I mean things can change, obviously, like just rotating and whatnot, we'll turn that off so we don't waste our battery in the meantime, but yeah, even like rotating the ship or whatnot can knock this off at this point by thousands of kilometers, so we have to be very very careful. So, yeah. Alright, so that's been an episode. In the next episode we'll do a similar burn with the second ship that's going to be coming right behind this one. So it's about a week behind, I guess. Which is quite good, so our man shouldn't be stuck there too long. I don't know if we can manage to land them close to each other. I mean, I'm, I'm a novice, so something that, you know, Scott Manley would do. But, yeah, I can say in my best Scottish accent. Thank you very much for watching. I've been Stranky. Not Scott Manley. I've been Stranky. And I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.